In this chapter, we will create a professional DVD or Blu-ray disc by adding a DVD menu to your project. In this example, we will use the sample movie that is loaded when Studio is first opened. It can also be loaded using the Help menu. Click the Disk tab. Because you have a movie open, Studio will ask you if you want to create a disk project from your open movie. Studio will then open a copy of your movie in the disk authoring window. At the bottom is a view of the timeline showing a copy of your movie. The area above this is called the menu list. It is where you add menus, which allow you to link the chapters to your movie. You will also notice a compact version of the library above. Although there are many professionally created menus to choose from, there are basically two types. Menus that are named Main or Sub. The main menu is the menu that will be seen when your DVD first plays. The submenus can be used for selecting individual chapters of your movie. They are usually called scene selection menus in a Hollywood movie, and they already have next and previous buttons in case you have lots of chapters. Let's choose this menu theme. Drag your first main menu from the library to the menu list. You'll notice the first chapter has already been linked to the first button on the menu. And a return has been set at the end. Then select the submenu and drop it also into the menu list. Click the chapter wizard button on the submenu. This will help us to automatically create chapters and links to the menus. We have some options. Chapters can be placed at optimal positions in your movie, like cut points or every 10 seconds as selected here. We could also place chapter markers at the positions of the timeline markers here. Let's choose the whole movie. And let's let Studio link the chapters to the menu buttons for us. I do not want to return to the main menu after each chapter, so I will leave this box unchecked. Press OK. Chapters are created and placed in the chapter track here. Notice that Studio created more chapters than are available on a single submenu. To handle those chapters, it automatically added more submenus so that we would have enough buttons in our menus to link to all our new chapter markers. Pretty smart. Also, notice the color coding of the menus here. The main menu has a light blue background, and the submenu has a yellow background. The chapter and return markers are color coded so you know what menu they are associated with. These markers indicate that we have not yet linked the Scene Selection button on the main menu to the second menu. Let's correct that now. Click on the main menu. Grab the question mark from the preview window and drag it to the first submenu. The submenus are now accessible from the main menu Scene Selection button. 
If you would like to rename any chapter button, click the Cycle button, change the name, and move to the next button. That's all there is to it. Use the up, down, and left, right arrows to move throughout the menus and chapters. Push the center button when a button is highlighted to activate the selection. After you are satisfied with your final masterpiece, click the Export tab to burn your disk. Hello, I'm Paul Holtz from Class On Demand. This introductory chapter gave you a quick look at the creative power and flexibility of Avid Studio. If you'd like to learn more about creating your movies with the same high quality production polish used in the latest Hollywood blockbusters, then order your copy of Class On Demand's complete training for Avid Studio on Avid's website. On behalf of Avid, and class on demand. Thanks for watching.